Libras, 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 welcome back to the channel T Infinity to T Infinity here back again with another message for you. So we're going to be taking a look into Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we're going to be taking a look to see what the Most High and the Archangels have for the Libras concerning Whatever it is that the Libras need to know, okay, this is general, so take what resonate, leave what doesn't. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, so Libras, we're going to start off with the homemade deck for you. Okay, we're going to start off with the homemade deck for the Libras. Shout out to anybody's birthday that is today, October 2nd, 2023. Moving forward into Libra season. I'm so thankful for all my Libras, okay? Um, I'm very thankful for each and every single one of y'all. And for the balance that you bring to the Zodiac, for the truth, the justice that you bring to the Zodiac as well. And for your, you know, your not so balanced side too. Thank you, Libras. Truly do appreciate you. Thank you for also supporting the channel, helping it grow, um, and showing your love. I truly do appreciate you, Libras. All right, so I pulled it straight out on two-faced mimic dual personality, and this is Gemini energy, which is also air energy. So for some of my Libras, you could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? For some of my Libras, you could be dealing with Gemini. For others of my Libras, you could feel hurt right now, okay? You could, Chiron, I'm hearing Chiron could be very significant to you. Us. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see what this homemade the deck has for you. Present energy was coming towards the Libras. Oh my goodness, y'all. Karmic sexual partner. Okay, so Libras, there's a karmic sexual partner that's coming towards you. You could have had relations with this person in the past or you could be having relations with them now or you could be having relationship relations with them in the future okay this is a karmic sexual partner this person is coming with you to start a quarrel with you or an argument or some type of discrepancy i'm hearing here but you gonna shut that shit down that's what i'm seeing here you gonna shut that shit down this could be a third party situation as well. This karmic sexual partner could be depressed over you. They could have a dark heart. And this could be a cancer, okay? For some of my Libras, you could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, so what is the obstacle here when it comes to this karmic sexual partner? What is the obstacle? Okay, the obstacle is she too boring. He said he want a fun girl so uh libra somebody could feel like you too boring or you could feel like somebody's too boring okay so the obstacle is somebody is too boring they could be a capricorn you could be dealing with a capricorn as well a gemini a cancer this person seems like you too boring or you feel like they're too boring this is definitely a karmic partner, though. Okay, what is the, uh, what is the, uh, what is the, um, uh, advice, what is the advice you have here? Oh, look, this is a non-committal person. Okay, Libra, so this person is non-committal. This could also be an earth sign with the first metal, last initial, initial I. Okay, they feel like it was good while I lasted with you, Libra. Okay, and I'm um, starting backfire I'm seeing here at noon. 
backfired. So something is backfiring here. They feel like this was good while it lasted. And this could have been an earth sign. So it's a karmic sexual partner coming towards you. Um, they're boring or they think you boring Libra. Okay. And um, it's, it's non-committal. Something is non-committal when it comes to this karmic partner of course because they're karmic right and something is backfiring this person could want to see you a lot at night libra they're a night crawler okay this person is a night crawler tell me more about this karmic sexual partner when it comes to the libra <laughs> cookie monster and it fell over here by the earth sign so this person could want you to come over later this could definitely be a earth sign they want you to come over later you could be talking to this person during the morning time. They could be leaving around noon. Okay? This is what I'm seeing here. Look, I can never make it up. X returning. Yeah. So, Libras, y'all got an X returning. This person said they love challenges. I'm seeing you very abundant, though. You're very abundant. She knew all along. Somebody knew something all along that you could have known all along that this karmic sexual partner was doing magic on you and they was going to try to return once karma had hit their ass. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Because you have good days now. You have good days and they want to see you face to face. And they want to see you face to face, okay? Why you show me this? Uh, somebody could have had a threesome as well or could have wanted to have a threesome. They could call you gang gang. They was trying to destroy, disrupt, and dis disturb something when it came to you. But you was a breadwinner. You was a breadwinner, okay? Why you show me she too boring, he said. He want a fun girl, night crawler. Why you show me this for the Libras? Yeah, because somebody was not listening to their intuition when it came to you. Because I feel like you already knew something. Yeah, I'm trying to get you. They trying to get you. <laughs> That's what they said. So, yeah, they want you. They could want to do something with you. Maybe sexual, like I said. Because this is a sexual karmic partner. This could have been your ex, Libra. They was a scammer. Okay, they was definitely trying to scam you. You could have been getting warnings about this person, but you could have been giving them the benefit of the doubt. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, they wanted to get you. They wanted to get you to do something. This person was an undercover brother. Lord have mercy. Your ex is an undercover brother. They wanted the cookie. You could be a raw artist. They could know that. You a raw artist, Libra. And you were getting warnings about this person. But for some of you, um, this person tried to say that you was money hungry, but you're not. They are. You're in your calling. Yeah, and they try to blind you from something, okay? But it came full circle. So you know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, something now is up in the air. And they have, this sexual partner has a entity attachment libra so you definitely should leave this person be you could be guarded and be tatted like you could have a sleeve of tattoos or you could have a hand tat i'm hearing that or you could have a neck tat i'm also hearing that okay god believes in you and you believe in yourself and this is the person that you sleep beside or you slept beside or wants you to sleep beside them okay so we're going to go ahead and clarify here. We're going to be using the Modern Witch Tarot up here. Use that. Use the Modern Witch Tarot today. For my Libra. Sun, moon, rising. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. If this message is resonating with you so far, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and don't forget subscribe and become a part of the Infinity to Family. So somebody is really like somebody is leaving residual energy around your energy or somebody's residual i'm hearing residual 
residual. So I don't know if this has to do with money. Somebody could owe, owe you residual funds. Somebody left their energy in your energy like it's residual energy <laughs> in your energy. Okay. Somebody it has community service and they have to pick up the residuals. I'm hearing that around the city or something like that. Okay. All right. Clarify this karmic partner when it comes to the leaders here. Yeah. You block this karmic partner. Seven of Wands. You block this karmic partner, Libra. That's what I'm seeing here. You put up healthy boundaries for this person. Uh huh. Because you was focused and content with your work or with whatever it is that you was doing. You was perfectly content with it. And this person, they was given to others and given to you as well. So now I feel like you perfectly content on your own. Why you showing this? She too boring. He said he want a fun girl. Why you showing this when it comes to the Libras? Okay, because somebody is spying and watching you because I feel like somebody could have picked you over somebody or you could have picked somebody else over somebody, this karmic sexual partner. And they are spying on you to see who you giving to other than them, Libras. Yeah, this King of Cups. Okay, you could be given to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody could definitely be in their feelings because you're giving to somebody else and not to them. Because you know that this person was doing magic on you, like I said, and it was manipulating you. That's how this that's why this shit backfired. I already showed you backfire. You could have been dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but either way, this person is non committal, but they in their feelings now. Yeah, look, because you already know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You know, you know this person lied to you constantly, kept lying to you, and you know that this person is non committal. That's why they feel like your ex feel like, oh, it was good while it lasted. Because they know in the past they did magic on you or try to manipulate a situation and the shit backfired right on them. Tower, 12, 12 on his clock, Libra. So now they going through a tower moment while you sitting pretty. Yeah, and they they feel they feeling very angry. I'm hearing here, Libra. Isn't this your energy? Cause I feel like you chose the King of Pentacles over this Capricorn, or you could have chose this Capricorn, or or you or somebody didn't want you to choose whoever you got. They didn't want you to get this person. That's what I'm hearing. This Capricorn, Libra. They didn't want you to get this Capricorn, but this Capricorn is obsessed with you. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this could have been a cookie monster. They could have been like, oh, they love challenges. You could have been giving this person a challenge. This could be the person that you're really supposed to be with. Not this. Uh, look. Somebody also wants you to be in spiritual warfare. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because they're pissed that you didn't pick them, Libra. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. They mad you picked the fire sign over them. Yeah. They're, they're secretly angry at you. They're wearing a mask, too, trying to deceive you in some type of way with this dark-ass magic. That's why that shit backfired. Because they, they, they dead-ass was using somebody to do some dark magic on you. Why you show us backfire? Yeah, look, this masculine. This masculine, Libra. They was definitely doing some dark magic with two other people. Yeah, under this new full moon. Now they're disappointed. They ain't regret and despair. Because they was trying to get you. But you you already saw that. You already saw that. You also for some for others of you, you also you put an end to this situation because you knew that this person was bisexual or you knew that they were homosexual, but they weren't keeping it real with you. Okay, yeah. And this person wanted to work it out with you, but you're comfortable being alone. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, now they ain't regret and despair. Five of cups. They and they feelings because his magic didn't work on you. And that they're moving towards you slowly but surely because they know that you're single and abundant right now. And they know that you looking at the shit that they did because they were being undercover. They were lying to you. And they only wanted your cookie. That's what I'm seeing here. Cookie monster with the tempers and reverse with the king of wands. Yeah. And that shit got exposed. That You saw this red flag. Now they feel stuck. Now they feel stuck for trying to keep you stuck, Libra. That's what I'm saying here. Uh-huh. This is your ex. 
Tell us about this ex. See, yeah, they broke your heart at Libra for trying to break your heart. Now you in a new cycle. Now you in a new cycle. This person could be trying to write you a letter. They could be crying. I'm seeing here. This masculine is crying because they had to walk away from me. This could have been a Scorpio or Aries, a Leo. You could have been dealing with any of these people. But come this Scorpio season, I'm seeing here. Yeah, Divine Feminine. You know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They couldn't get you. So they try to get somebody to do work on you. Yeah, so you wouldn't have a happy family, or so you wouldn't be stable in your household, 11-11. For some of you, also, they try to put an end to your happy household, because they was trying to cause um, some type of confusion. Yeah, they were trying to cause some type of confusion with you and this karmic sexual partner. Or this karmic sexual partner was trying to cause some confusion to your happy household now. But you could have been like, you love challenges. Yeah, now they stress where they have an anxiety because they couldn't do it. Still trying to come towards you slowly, but they hurt. Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Because you're in a new cycle, see? Because you love challenges. You also a raw artist. These people are jealous and envious of you now because they tried to use um, dark magic against you. And they tried to, this ex, they tried to return to you so they could see if it was working on you. Okay? But they see that you're receiving good news, that you're happy, and that this shit has backfired on them. And that you got the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody in your family also is um, seeing here that you don't want them to come over your house no more. Or for some of you, you don't want to deal with this person no more because you know that they are uh, two-faced. Remember that card I showed you in the, in the beginning? Yeah, they two-faced. And they try to manipulate your destiny. Knowing that you are a higher up. Knowing that you are the empress, okay? This could have been somebody you had to take a leap of faith away from, a Taurus or Aries. Because they're getting karma, like I said. Because they're getting karma now. Yeah. And you you know they're getting karma for this magic that they try to do to you to cause some type of instability in your household. So now this King of Cups here, and you have a lot of, this King of Cups and this King of Wands here knows that you have a lot of options when it comes to, uh, when it comes to uh, suitors. You have a lot of options when it comes to suitors, Libra. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and you love challenges. Yeah, and that's without a doubt. Two of Wands in reverse. Yep, so now somebody, now somebody sees that. You have moved on and you separated yourself from that this karmic sexual partner. Yep. And now they still lying, trying to cause you harsh, painful endings. Still lying, trying to cause you harsh, painful endings, Libra. Because they're just still trying to hold on to you to do some type of dark magic onto you. But you you love yourself and you in the Ten of Cups. And they're in this Ten of Swords. Ten, Ten. So Libra, yeah, you in a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. There's nothing that these people could do to stop you. I'm hearing, I'm unstoppable. I'm invincible today. I'm, I, I don't know exactly how that song go. Y'all know how. I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Yeah, you unstoppable today. Take rest. Take rest, Libra. I'm seeing here. Okay. Because doors is opening up for you. Keep an open mind. Something's going to require stillness and balance for you to catch this damn snake. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, this person here that's separated from you. Trying to do dark magic on you. They're making a big mistake. Yep. Because you're ready to take adventures and you're ready to take risks. Point break, period. But this could be bad, Holy Spirit said. So just be mindful. And that's the fact of life. So, yeah, listen to your intuition. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's pull some numerology. Libras, listen to your intuition. Okay? Because something could be bad for these people that keep trying to 
for this sexual karmic partner. That's what I'm saying here. Yeah, because they a snake. Show the world the real you. Show the world the real you. You could be dealing with Aquarius, but now they seeing the real you. They seeing how intuitive you are. That's what I'm saying, Libra. Yeah, and nothing is yet set. It's so look at this water. Somebody's in a big emotion. Somebody's in a lot of emotions. Yeah, look, bring love into the situation. This could definitely be an Aquarius. And surrender to the divine. 2023 24 on this cloud. So I hope that you enjoyed this message. That's for an angel answer for you as well. And we're gonna get up on out of here. Angel answers for the Libras. Helpful people around you, Libra. Okay, at this time. Within the next few months, you are gonna see. This sexual karmic partner get their karma. That's what I'm seeing here. Yup. So no need to worry. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.